No, 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 no. This is a preview of what I'm about to show you. It's scary. My worst nightmare. Well, kind of expected it. Well, first I want to show you, some people may be wondering about knock sensors, where they are on this engine, one GRFE. And you have to remove this um, water pipe, coolant pipe, and they're right in there, in between, drilled into the block. And uh, super hard to get out. You can't necessarily just remove this water pipe very easily. You have to take the whole upper and lower intake off. And even then, to get that out of there may not be possible. So that is a terrible job. I'm sure it'll cost a lot to get replaced. Now, to get this head off, you got to search the entire thing all the way around looking for bolts and attachments. There are a lot of wires. Um, cables that are strapped to it and so there you see I have it loose but I can't quite get it off because this exhaust manifold is still on there so I had to pop the pop that off go underneath um, you know get all the bolts off of these studs go down get one bracket one rubber uh, piece and two exhaust clamp or whatever manifold bolts oh no look at this thing so i got the head off it's actually not too heavy just easily lifted out of there and i'm looking at all this rust and i'm thinking oh, okay that must be why this thing is seized there's a little rust in there maybe a little more than i'd like to see this engine has 290k and it hasn't been driven in a year Look under here, it's this side of the head. Okay, looking okay so far, maybe, but what? Ooh, look at that burnt valve. It's all stuck, apparently. Looks like it is. Let me get a better view on this. I'm gonna tip it up here. I take a quick, pick, quick peek in there. Those ones look fine, I guess. You know, I'm no expert here. But I know how to spot big problems. There's another valve that's kind of poking up. Does that mean it's stuck? I kind of think since there's no spring pressure on any of these, well, that they should be returned because the lobes aren't pushing down from the cams. So they all should be flat and seated. Now, this is where things get bad. Uh, there's a little mouse home in there, what the snake was going after. Now I'm thinking, okay, what is happening here? Why are these cylinder walls so thin? And why are they exploded? Each one blown apart on the right edge. Oh, no, 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 no. This thing is seized and it is not coming back to life. There's the bottom of the head gasket kind of torn. Throw it away there. Oh, no. No, oh, no, 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 no. So around those is, you know, where your water goes. And if you have a head gasket leak, you can go in this. The cylinders or the exhaust gases can go out into the water, get into your radiator. But look at those cracked, smashed, pulverized, obliterated. Oh, toasted. Hey, too bad you can't just lift those out, unbolt them, lift them out, and put new ones in. Nope, this engine will be going to the junkyard. Boo-hoo. And I'll be getting a lightly used one, hopefully with low miles. This thing would run. RFJ will be driving like like new, except with 290K on the chassis. Look at that. These are the little zoomed-in picks here. Disgusting. Terrible. All done. Gone. This project is over. I need to pull this engine. Get it out of there.